to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my upcoming sewing plans, the things that I want to make and showing you some of the fabrics I'm going to make them with. If you are new to my channel, welcome, please hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram which is handmade.by.hattie and if you see anything you like or you have any suggestions or inspiration for me then please drop a comment below, I would love to hear from you. So let's get into it. Today we are in a little bit of a different setup. I wasn't feeling it this morning. I've been to the gym, I've got to go to work later on this evening. I start at like 5 p.m. So I thought, you know what? I want to be in my comfy clothes, I want to be on my comfy little sofa and I'll film a video. So this is just gonna be super chatty, super chilled. I've got a Jara jumper on from Megan Nielsen Patterns that I made in this really cozy, uh, I think it's like a flannel, it is a flannel this Lion King flannel, along with some Hudson pants by True Bias. Uh, these are in a really cool, a cool, a cool mustard jersey. In a really cool mustard jersey. The jumper I did size up multiple times because this isn't a stretch material. And the pants I don't think I made any modifications to, but I love them, they're super comfy. And as you can tell, they match my flat perfectly because uh, we're all about that mustard here. So since finding my sewing spark again, I have been on a little bit of a fabric craze. Uh, it's not that bad. I'm looking at this pile of fabric and I know that it is uh, nowhere near as bad as some of the other hauls that I did. Go check those out if you wanna uh, see how much money I used to spend on fabric during the pandemic. Ooh, it was okay, it was justified. It was a new hobby, it's totally allowed. Uh, but today I thought I would just give you a quick overview. There's a couple of bits here from my stash and some remnants as well. So the first thing that I want to do is I have this leftover from one of my Marlowe cardigans, which I showed you in my top and worst makes of 2021 video. And I've got, it's not much left, but it's definitely enough for like half a jumper. So having been inspired by First for Fabrics, uh, they posted these really cool like block pastel colored jumpers. And I looked at them and I was like, that's such a clever idea and they're so nice. So I'm wondering if I'm cool enough to make a Megan Nielsen Jara, because I just love that sweater pattern, make a Megan Nielsen Jara with this as like a block. So have one sleeve, one front, one back in this, and then the rest in it of it in either like a white or a gray. I think that would look really jazzy, but I just don't know if I'm cool enough for it. Because it, they look really cool. They look so cool. I was really jealous and I want one. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that with that. Um, but that's my first bit. And this was just a remnant from CNH Fabrics in Tunbridge Wells. Boom. Why do I do that? It makes it so hard to edit. Next, from my stash, I have this insanely gorgeous material. It's from Waterland Slate, and this is the designs from Agate and Air, who I will link below because every time she posts something on Instagram, I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. Um, and I got this material in like the fab, fab, nope, athleisure. Try to say fablesia. Clearly, I've been watching too many videos for fabletics. Um, in this athleisure, and I really want to make some leggings and a matching sports bra. I'm very, very into the gym at the moment. I have a personal trainer, I'm going three times a week, and I just like wearing sportswear as well. Like if I'm not in comfy clothes or I'm not going out to work, I'll be in my sports gear. So this is gonna make up so nicely and I need to just actually like knuckle down and do it. Um, so I've made some leggings before, but I think I want to find some that have pockets on. So that's my goal for this, is to find leggings that have pockets on, that are nicely fitted, that are high-waisted, that also have a matching sports bra pattern. But I think that will be really nice and it's just gonna look so cool. Everyone will be jealous and I know it. It's gonna be one of those that people are like, oh my goodness, I love your leggings. You're like, thanks, I made them. Which I've gotten a lot better at recently. A couple of people serving me in shops have like commented on jackets and stuff instead of just being, oh, thank you very much. I've been, thank you very much, I made it and it sparks a whole conversation. So it's really nice. So uh, yeah, if you're ever in London, go to the Cafe Nero in Charing Cross. The servers there are absolutely lovely. And every time I go, uh, we have a really nice chat and they often compliment my clothes. So if you need to pick me up, there's, there's your place. <laughs> so the reason I'm filming this video specifically today is because I wanted to start cutting out this pattern. Uh, and that is with this material from Lama Lamazi? Lamazia? 
Lamasia Fabrics. I'll link it below. And it's this really cool, it's a viscose, and it's um, like an Aztec pattern in your face, super like, I want to say it's super retro feeling. Uh, it feels like it's like, I want to say 80s, but that's probably completely the wrong decade. But this in a Gilbert top. I know, it's gonna look so cool. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it was about this fabric, but I saw it and instantly I knew the pattern that I wanted to make with it. And it's a pattern that I've not used yet. I actually purchased it literally like last week, specifically for this material. And I just think it's gonna be so fun. I think it'll look so cute if I make it right. These with a pair of denim shorts in the summer, or even with jeans, it's gonna look so cute. So excited. I'm gonna go and do that as soon as I have finished filming this for you. Ta -da. I'm gonna have to pick all of these up again after and hang them all back up. I need to get better at filming. I really do. All right, next up we have this delight. So, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen the blazer of dreams. It's mustard, it's Ruby Star Society on the inside. Oh, it's the Heather Blazer and it is an absolute delight and I love it so, so, so much. Well, this was the fabric that was originally going to be for that blazer and it is this really cool kind of like pumpkin-y tartan from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. This, I got in their sale at Christmas, I think I got it on Boxing Day and I was so excited and I still am, but looking at the colours, I was like, oh, it's an autumn thing. So I think my plan is that over summer, I'm going to make this up into a heather blazer and then it will be ready for autumn because imagine, imagine the Instagram <laughs> walking through a park, sipping a pumpkin spice latte, wearing a pumpkin spice blazer. That's a great name for it. Um, just in chunky boots, jeans, a knitted scarf. Ah, oh, it's going to be a dream. Summer hasn't even happened and I'm already excited for autumn. But yeah, so this is going to be a Heather blazer and again, very excited about it. I think I got too much material, so I might, I might make a matching skirt. That would be fun. I'm not usually a matchy-matchy person, but I think I could definitely, uh, definitely rock the clueless vibes. Also from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn, I got this coating material. Uh, again, it was in the sale, so obviously it was going to be wintry materials that I bought. But you know when you're like, oh, this is really cool, it's gonna look so nice in six months time. But that's fine. Uh, and that is a really cool, it's like burgundy, white, black. And I just thought this in an oversized jacket would be really nice. I'm thinking potentially one of my favorite patterns, this stacker jacket by Paper Cut Patterns would look really nice in this. Um, it's that kind of vibe to it. Or, one of my friends is currently making an Ilford jacket and it looks really cool. So I might go and buy that pattern and then make this out of that. Because I already own three stacker jackets. Three? Two. Two. Because I already own two stacker jackets, so maybe it's time to like branch out to a different pattern. Um, but I thought this would be really nice, especially for autumn. Again, these with like leather look pants, chunky boots. I never say what top I'll wear because I just don't know how to put clothes together. But yeah, I think an Ilford, an Ilford jacket or potentially a stacker jacket. But again, it's sewing for autumn. Uh, but that doesn't stop me being any more excited about it. Another one from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn is this really nice grey French terry. Uh, it's super soft, it's quite lightweight so it's not going to be too warm. And I got quite a lot of this. Uh, I bought it because it's a nice staple to have and it was on sale. I think it was like two pounds something per meter um, But I'm debating either making so there's two things either I'm gonna make some loungewear from this which will inevitably be a jar jumper from Megan Nielsen and some Hudson pants a la my current comfy clothes or I saw on Instagram someone made a kilo wrap dress with like a grey sweatshirty material and they did the cropped version, which was knee length. And they wore it with like chunky white trainers. And it just looked really cool. And it was a really like casual version. And I love, I made a mustard version recently. Again, go check it out on Instagram. And I absolutely love it. But I feel like I can only really wear that if I'm going somewhere to do something. 
Uh, but this could be a very easy like sling it on on my way into work type wear and people won't be like oh you're very dressed up I get that a lot if I ever put effort into what I'm we wearing when I go to work people are like oh have you been on a date or oh you look very grown up or oh someone's made an effort uh, which makes me laugh because every day I just look like rubbish apparently no, they're really sweet, but when I wear fancier clothes, everyone knows I've been somewhere and done something. So this could be a really nice, just like casual dress. And the kilo was so easy to make as well. Um, and the kilo was so easy to make as well, that a short version in like a grey comfy would be really nice. So that's my plan for this one. Um, let me know down below in the comments which you think I should make from it. If you think a grey kilo would be a good idea, or if you think I should stick to loungewear. Because, yeah, I'm indecisive. It's one thing I'm not decisive. Next up, another one that I was inspired by Instagram from So Wardrobe are these incredible, incredible materials. So they posted these a couple of weeks ago and they had the blues and they also had like a pinky Charisse colour. Um, and I saw the blues and I couldn't not buy it because they just went so perfectly together. So that is this gorgeous teal needle cord, which I got a metre of a half, which I got a metre and a half of, and I paid 18 pounds for that. And this amazing cotton garden, cotton poplin, try saying that super fast, uh, and I paid 20 pounds for two and a half metres of this. And just look at them together. Aren't they beautiful? So I'm thinking, here's, here's the thought, that a bobby pinafore skirt from Tilly and the Buttons would look really cute in this. So basically a high-waisted mini skirt, mid-thigh, are we still calling mid-thigh mini? Feels mini. Anyway, a high-waisted mini skirt in this with uh, like denim, I want to say denim buttons if you know what I mean. The ones that look like they would be on denim. On this down the front, and then this on top with probably, I really want to make another Gilbert out of this. I've not even made this pattern and I'm obsessed. But I think this with the tie version would look really cute. Um, and I think it'd also go really well with jeans, under dungarees, all sorts. So yeah, Instagram, it makes me spend a lot of money. Uh, but these also came with a tea bag and a breakaway which I love. I love when small shops decide to make their packages extra special. I just think it's so nice. And there's a lovely little note in there as well. And it just really makes my soul happy and makes receiving post so exciting. And that's before you even get to the incredible fabrics. Uh, so go check them out. I think they've still got both of them in stock. So I will link them down below. And if you decide to go buy some and make anything with it, let me know because I'm, I'm very invested. I'm very, very excited and um, the blue like the teal is not a color I would usually wear uh so I'm excited to change up and just have like a cute spring out what jacket am I gonna wear I'll have a think uh maybe a denim jacket but yeah this would also having looked at them just now like this this would also make a really cute coat or a jacket maybe a stacker jacket favorite pattern maybe um with the teal on the outside and then this as a lining but yeah go be inspired make something beautiful it's spring after all so then last but not least are some patterns that i've bought so obviously i have already mentioned it a thousand times i bought the gilbert top i actually bought it from the fold line uh, so <laughs> i got them to uh, print it and send me the a0 it's a little bit extra money but for me i just find it so much nicer actually cutting the pattern pieces out now I'm I'm done with sticking things together so that was my first purchase and whilst I was on their site I also saw this dress and I became absolutely obsessed it is the named clothing Rita shirt dress and I just think for summer I had a dress like this that I bought in Greece and where my body shape has changed uh, it doesn't fit quite so well anymore but I absolutely love this dress and this pattern is very, very, very similar. It's a simple like shirt dress with two pockets. It's got buttons down the front, slits up the side and a drawstring waist. And I just think it looks so classic. My friend Sean and I are actually planning to go to Paris for a couple of days in the summer. 
and I'm so excited we're gonna go fabric shopping in Paris so if anyone has any suggestions let me know um but I thought this would be so cute like you can just imagine me in a Rita shirt dress like walking down the Seine going for croissant having coffee very cottagey Emily in Paris shall we say so there we have it that is a super fast whistle stop tour of everything that I have have everything that I have currently got sewing <laughs> everything that I have currently got planned for sewing including the fabrics the patterns and some things that I was just showing you and I don't really know what I'm making which 10 out of 10 preparation skills there if you've liked this video as always please hit the subscribe button follow me on Instagram, leave me a comment. Uh, I've really enjoyed filming it for you and I look forward to speaking to you all again very, very soon. Thank you, bye.